Hello all, it's Dan from the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. I might have no imagination, but I do have a Garmin Fenix 7 Solar that I've been living in for the last couple of weeks. I've been swimming, biking, running, and generally lifing in this watch. There are a few things that I absolutely love about it, and I'm hoping that you will too, hence why I'm sharing it on this video. Now, I know that the thumbnail and title might make you think there are seven things. There are actually eight, because I've already done the thumbnail before I record this video. Let's get stuck in. So these are in no particular order, but coming in first, and this might sound like such a small thing, but genuinely, I've been absolutely buzzing with this when i'm out running in the evening when it's dark or early mornings i lift my wrist up the light comes on on the screen i'm not having to press a button fumbling around with thick gloves on because it's cold in the uk at the minute trying to figure out oh what pace am i running where am i all of that i just lift your wrist up the light comes on you put your wrist down and the light goes off i know the technology is simple but honestly that is brilliant Number two, Garmin Pay. Now you are gonna to have to check if your bank is compatible with Garmin Pay. My main bank wasn't, however, I did have to reignite a bank account that I keep secret for bike part purchases in order to do so. But being able to buy a coffee, being able to use public toilets sometimes when they charge, car parking, all those sorts of things just from your wrist without having to remember to take your phone or a card with you is brilliant. Unless you're one of those people that always put out pocket fires when you go anywhere to buy anything. Number three, now I am going to say that these features have changed my life, not just my exercise life, my life in general. And I'm going to put them all under the same umbrella of health. So body battery, heart rate variability, health snapshot. And I know if you're not familiar with the Garmin products, those words might not mean much. But what I use it for is I'm now wearing this watch all the time. It's tracking my sleep, it's tracking my heart rate variability, it's tracking my stress levels, my body battery and so on. But what it's making me do is think about all those things. I'm thinking about how much sleep I'm getting. I'm thinking about how stressed I am. I'm thinking about whether, oh, should I be training hard today or not? I'm only just getting used to the numbers, but already I can see how these numbers do generally really correlate to how I am feeling. The health snapshot specifically, it takes two minutes to do. You set, you go onto the menu, click health snapshot, you sit there and do nothing for two minutes, which is perfect, I'm really good at that. And it basically assesses all those criteria and gives you a little report about how your body is measuring that day. So long as you do it at the same time of day most days, I think you get some pretty reliable results. And it also saves the results so you can flip back for the previous days because of course I would forget what I was yesterday. It's really, really useful. Number four, not at all related to health, but definitely related to motivation, Spotify or any other music provider on your watch. Being able to sync my watch to my wireless earphones without taking my phone out on a run is brilliant. There's loads of storage on this. I think you can save something like 2,000 songs. I subscribe to a few podcasts, so you subscribe to a podcast. All you have to do is go back on your phone and just click re-download or re-sync and the latest episodes all appear on your watch. You can change the volume, you can skip through songs, all through the touch of a button on your phone. You don't need to take your phone with you, it's brilliant. I'm pretty sure I've lost count of the numbers. Five, Training Peaks integration. Now, this is brilliant for me. I have a running coach who sets me running sessions on Training Peaks, and I also follow a lot of bike sessions on Training Peaks. Both of those sessions, and all the other sports as well, feed straight through to the watch. So when you go onto the, for me for example, I go on to run, the workout that is in my Training Peaks calendar for that day pops up on my watch. But you might not want to do that. You can decline it, you can turn it away. You can pick a different workout that you've got already saved on your watch. Being able to follow a session on your watch is absolutely brilliant. In the past, I've sometimes found it annoying, but if you spend five minutes setting up when you want your watch to vibrate, when you want it to beep, if perhaps you're somebody who doesn't want it to tell you every five seconds what pace you're doing, we well, can set it up like that. So you get exactly the right amount of like virtual coaching that you need. And for me, some of the sessions I do are run five minutes at this pace, 10 minutes at this pace, then do five times two minutes at this, I forget, I, I'm not that smart to keep all that information in my head. So just having it on your watch, just to go beep, okay, for the next two minutes, you run at this pace and it keeps like a little speedo as to how fast you're running and so on. Brilliant. Number six, I feel like I'm saying brilliant a lot, but whatever. The general activity menu. Now I've used watches in the past where the menu contains all the activities or all the activity profiles that the watch can do. Nordic skiing, yoga, um, no offense to any Nordic skiers or yoga players, yoga take apart or whatever the term is, no offense to you guys, but I don't do those things. So having to scroll through those to get to cycling or uh, swimming or whatever it is, was a bit of a bore. Now you can set up on this menu just the things that you use. So I only have a handful of sports on there because I only do a handful of sports. I'm not having to scroll through all those activity profiles. The least barriers that are in, that are in the way between you actually getting out and doing whatever training or event you're doing, the better. And, and that's brilliant for me. Brilliant. Number seven, the touchscreen. Now I'm aware that touchscreens are not 
new technology. Touchscreens on watches, however, are, but the way I see this as a massive benefit to this is, on this watch, there are lots of menus. When you use it a lot, you get used to where they are and you get used to where to find things. But if you don't, you can just set up your like home screen or the preferred option screen and you can scroll through. So all you have to do from the home screen is swipe down or swipe up and all those most used and frequently used things you've set on there, you can access at the touch of a button. You're not having to think about, oh, go to menu, scroll down, scroll left, or all that. You're just swiping down. Perfect. Then finally, in at number eight, navigation. It obviously works because I'm here, I've not got lost and I'm stranded outside in the Peak District somewhere. And I have only tested this on routes that I know, but I do have some cool, cool adventures planned in the next few weeks, so I'm gonna test it a bit more. Being able to plot a route on the watch is brilliant. I'm not going to take a separate device with me as I have done on the past when I'm going for trail runs. You can also log like points of interest. So for me, a toilet might be a point of interest. More likely a cafe will be a point of interest, but be able to log those in so you can see how many miles is it to the cafe, how many miles is it to the summit of the hill you're walking up, all of those things make all that information there and the motivation, excellent. So there you go, seven things I love about the Garmin Fenix 7 Solar that are actually eight things. Let me know your thoughts about the watch down below. I know a lot of people that watch this channel have Garmin's of various ranges, so I'd be interested to hear about others who perhaps have got a previous model of Fenix or perhaps you've just recently upgraded. Let me know. And if you're new around here, hopefully I've got some more content planned with Garmin, so hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you again very soon.